Oh. Hi. Um, what are you doing here? In my bedroom. Well, since you're here, hello. It is Sunday. It is the day after a very big holiday that I did not celebrate, and I woke up feeling just blah and sad and unmotivated and just not great. I haven't really felt like getting out of bed. It's the afternoon now. I should probably get up and make some coffee and have some breakfast and like get started with this day, but I'm just not feeling it, which is okay. That happens sometimes, but I thought that maybe I would make a little vlog day in my life morning and afternoon in my life, whatever this ends up being, about how I go about feeling like this and trying to get into a better mindset. I mean, sometimes it's okay to just live in these feelings, right? But I think today I'm going to try and, I think right now I'm going to try and get out of this rut of feeling. So let's, let's start the same, shall we? you but when I wake up in the mood that I woke up in today the thought of coming in the bathroom doing my hair getting dressed and like everything you have to do to get ready for a day I just don't feel like doing any of that which like I said it's okay to stay in bed all day sometimes if that's what you need self-care but today I'm on a mission so I made myself do my hair you know put on an actual t-shirt that I didn't sleep in next thing is Let's go make some coffee and some food. Of something on Netflix. Lately I've been re-watching the earlier seasons of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> or I like to watch YouTube. Lately I've been watching a lot of travel vlogs because I'm planning a few trips for when all of the lockdowns are over. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat this and watch some YouTube and then see what comes next. <laughs> end up doing the things on this list is another story but it starts with the intention but i will say watching youtube videos always motivates me to actually start working on my own stuff watching creators who like put up the video and then like i'm watching something they created it makes me want to get to work on the things that i want to create so right now i have so much to do not so much but i just have like all these little things i have to do you know what i mean I have two auditions that I have to prepare for and then I also want to film a YouTube video so I'm thinking of making myself do that honestly you guys I don't feel like doing anything like if I'm being real I just don't um yesterday I don't know the last few days I just been feeling like I just can't with life you know what I mean like just everything like, I'm normally the super motivated person. I think the pandemic, then the Black Lives Matter movement, I was out protesting, like, 
a lot and that was overwhelming and intense and emotional and that was happening for a few weeks. There's just been a lot going on and I definitely don't feel totally like myself and I think a lot of people don't feel like themselves right now. I just don't feel like doing anything. I just wish I could. I don't even know what I wish right now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone else wish life would go back to feeling the way it did before everything started with COVID? Because I do. I miss being on set and working on acting projects. I miss actually going into auditions and auditioning in real life. I miss actually all of my side jobs. I miss the background work, the audience work. Just I miss traveling to Hollywood. I miss taking the train every day. I miss, like, I had a super busy life going and I don't know if or when it's gonna go back to being like it was before. Okay, so I got a waffle, it's a little later, brought my laptop and stuff onto my bed. So what's happening here is I'm in the middle of a little bit of a home decor project. So I ordered a duvet cover and a like duvet insert. It's actually been extremely frustrating. This whole duvet thing and trying to find like a duvet cover and a comforter that fit together and it's actually a really frustrating process and I kind of want to scream about it to be honest and then also like I ordered all this art that's gonna I'm gonna create a gallery wall in the living room I had no idea that finding frames for the art would be so complicated anyway I've like measured the art now I'm gonna be trying to actually order the frames because I've been procrastinating on that and then I also got a shipment. They're a smaller brand. They make queer t-shirts and accessories. And so I got this shirt. I got it in a medium. I wish I'd gotten a small now, but it's all good. So I wanted to take some pictures in this for my Instagram, but also mainly that they're going to be posting on their Instagram. If you guys want to check out their website, I'll put the link in the description. And if you use my code Shawnee Drake Love, you can get 30% off anything on their site. I don't get anything when you do that. It's just a cool offer that they're doing. All right, so I've bought the frames and oh my God, frames are expensive. Wow. Um, if I can, I'm going to make myself get up out of, out of the spot put on some makeup and I'm going to film a sit down video. I woke up feeling depressed and I should have just listened to my mind when it was like, you're not going to accomplish today. I don't know if I'm going to accomplish anything today. It might just be one of those days. It feels like my mind is like a weight that's weighing me down and my body feels heavy and so does my mind. So I'm gonna go watch an episode of Grey's Anatomy in bed and see how I feel after that. It's important to stay hydrated even when you're depressed. <laughs> I ended up getting the motivation to put some makeup on and film a video. I know I'm in the middle of the messy kitchen, but I just used that white wall right there. Yeah, so I filmed the video. Wow, I don't know how that happened. I, I, I really don't, but I'm really glad I did it. And put on my shirt, took some pictures in it. Now I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine and make some of this fish and mashed potatoes for a very very late dinner it is already past midnight i just want to say quarantine has made me an expert at opening bottles of wine whereas before quarantine um i couldn't do it to save my life and so like that's one skill that i uh not necessarily something to be proud of but honestly i'm proud of myself Cheers. And so did I did I reach my goal today of getting out of my funk? <sighs> something just kind of happened when I was sitting on my bed. I don't know. Something just happened and I just kind of felt like thank you, Oven, for interrupting me. Um, and I just kind of suddenly felt motivated to do something. 
I feel a little better now. I still don't feel totally like myself. I'm probably just gonna go back to Netflix right now as I eat dinner, but um, honestly, some days you're gonna be like this and that's okay. Like, that's totally okay. Um, but this was an honest day in my life where I woke up not wanting to even get out of bed and now here I am just being honest with you about where I'm ending this day. Um, thank you for following along with me in this video. Um, yeah. I want to end this video by talking about Vanessa Gielin. I know I'm not saying her last name right. I saw her name and her picture circulating on social media a few days ago, but it was only today that I looked into her story and what actually happened to her. Honestly, I've heard a lot of disturbing things in my life, but this is hands down one of the most disturbing stories I've ever heard. It's truly unfathomable what happened to her. I'm not going to go into detail. Please look up what happened and I'm sure you probably have already heard of this, but um. I had to say something about it because it it's truly heartbreaking. She was in the military, she went missing, but it turned out that she was murdered in the most brutal and, and just horrible, horrible way possible and um, it should have never happened and it happened because she spoke up about being sexually assaulted. Um, which, it, it, which just makes it even worse. She was assaulted in the military and then she spoke up about it and then this happened. And then now you have people coming out and saying, well, well, that's what she gets because she spoke up or <laughs> just crazy things. Other women in the military, at least one other woman um, was seen online saying, uh, what did she say? Like a point of entry or something that just happens when you're in the military and something like, what do you expect? I don't know, just crazy stuff. I'm super disturbed by this story. She needs justice, so I'm gonna link petition and ways that you can help with that situation. Um, I will see you guys soon with a brand new video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe.